So this is the audio and illumination circuit for my Needler project that I'm working on for Tested.com. There's a lot of stuff here. Writing it up would take a long time, so I'm just going to put it in a video. If you're interested in what's going on, I'm going to explain everything. First off, power supply. Obviously, I've got three AAA batteries, 4.5 volts. Uh, there's three LEDs back here that you'll see. There's a pink one, two blue ones, which are going to be... Uh, representing all of the LEDs that I'm going to be putting into this thing. This is my power switch. It is a single pole, single throw, on off toggle. This chip right here is an audio amp from SparkFun, a very simple low power uh, amplifier that leads through these wires here that loop around at the back to this speaker. An 8 ohm, 2 watt, uh, about an inch and a quarter diameter. I've put it in a little cardboard box here because eventually this piece is going to be mounted inside the needler body so it will have a cavity to reverberate into and give you a little bit better sound. The chip here is uh, my audio chip from replicaprops.com. They actually program these chips for uh, whatever you want so long as you have audio files and you explain what you want them to do and how you want it to work. And they send you a chip a few days later. This little toggle right there is an on-on toggle switch uh, and what that does is act as the selection between auto and single fire modes and then this guy right here is representing my trigger so power it on there you see the LEDs turned on there in the background and we get the equipping noise for the needler all right and we'll go through firing so this is single fire and you can do that multiple times really quickly So I also have a auto fire function. You toggle this switch over to that, that's going to be mounted on the underside of the needler. Hold this button down, and it empties, I think, 16 or 14 rounds. So once again, let's do everything starting from scratch. Turning on, single fire, and auto fire. I just finished watching the video I recorded a couple seconds ago, and I wanted to take a second to show why this speaker is in this little box, and why it's kind of important to figure out where you're going to put your speakers in your props uh, if you decide to do audio. So this is the speaker just kind of free-floating, and you can listen and hear that it's kind of tinny, right? There's not any gravity to when you're firing. Kind of sounds like a Happy Meal toy. But if you plunk it in a cavity like so. Notice so you get a little bit more bass out of it. I mean, not, you know, I'm not going to be rattling the windows, but you get a little bit more fullness. And also, I should point out that uh, I'm standing right next to the camera, which is why my voice is much louder. Uh, if I move this up here, next to the camera, it gets loud as well. So next, I got to make a little circuit board for all this stuff to fit onto. A little bit tidier than all this crap and stick it into a needler. Thanks for watching.